I'm doing what I love for a living. Why wouldn't I have a giant smile on my face? You need to be having a good time because people see that right away. We put a video up on YouTube and they're selling faster than I can make them. It is a huge marketing resource. Artisan Summit 2020 is coming soon. You're not going to want to miss this year. It's going to be epic. We've been asked over and over again, are you going to do it again next year? Because the people who came cannot believe how it changed their life, it changed their business, it changed their outcome of how they turned their craft into cash. I am Carl Jacobson and I am a wood turner. I do wood turning uh, videos on YouTube and I try and mix up the uh, different mediums. I do wood, resin pieces. Um, I try and do a lot of collabs with other uh, creators on YouTube, other wood turners, other woodworkers, other resin artists on YouTube. So. My wife and I, I am one half of the Woodshop TV. I just started doing YouTube videos back in 07 and just kind of as a side thing. I wasn't planned on making any money on it. I wasn't planned on, on doing it for a living or anything. Um, but I just started doing it and it kind of became a community on there. I've always tried to answer everybody back in the comments. Um, I just think it's, we were talking earlier, I was talking with, with the gentleman Scott, and if any one of you came up and asked me a question about anything, I would try and answer you back. And I don't think it's any different on YouTube. So if somebody leaves me a comment in, in, on a video, and they have a question about a tool or a, a technique I'm using or something, it's, you should answer them back. It's just the way I was raised. <laughs> So it slowly built up and, and I started to get companies mailing me things. I'm, it's kind of wood turning to small, small niche there. So it started building up to where I was getting offered a sponsorships. I just, just kept going with it. And so we, we do it full time now. Uh, our income stream is a little different than, than a lot of the other people because it's such a small niche wood turning. I have a lot of companies that, that uh, uh, sponsor our show. Um, we do some sponsored videos and things like that. We spend a lot of time trying to come up with projects, different project ideas, some things that are unique that they're not going to see all the time. So before we started YouTube, I was um, selling my, my pieces in galleries around Oregon. I'm from, from Oregon. And so when I started YouTube, I started making box videos. So I would make the box uh, on the video and then I would turn around and, and sell it in the galleries. And it would make 20 or $30 on the video. And then I had already taken it to the gallery and it sold again. And I'm thinking, well, this is kind of cheating. You know, you're, you're making money off of it on the video and you're turning around and selling it. And I said, thought that video is just going to keep going. I can only sell that box one time. That's it it's done and five years later the box is still going so i have a, a bowl that's really similar to this and i put it in a microwave and dried it but i leave it in the living room and we joke around about it all the time we're be dusting or doing something and i go don't knock over that bowl it's twenty seven hundred dollars i never sold that bowl but it made us twenty seven hundred dollars question of the day guys are you getting value out of this content. I want to know what's your biggest takeaway. Let us know in the comments below what was the biggest takeaway from this speech. See you at the comments. And it just continues to go. So if you're making pieces for sale, make them. But if make a video of you making it, and plus it is a huge marketing resource. I we sell a lot of our stuff on Etsy. I make a video of it. I put the video on Etsy when we post it. They, people love to see how the thing that they are looking at and want to buy was made. And it's a big selling point. If they can watch that piece being made, um, it's just a win-win for them and they're more interested in, in buying it if they watch the whole process of it. We do, uh, I've been doing some wooden sinks too. And like those, we've sold those strictly off of YouTube. We put a video up on YouTube and they're selling faster than I can make them. And it's just from people seeing it on YouTube, I make a video on the sink that I just sold. The last one we did, the videos made $250. And then we sell the sink on top of that. So it's just, uh, it's a nice way to 
you know, show people how, how it was made and then turn around and, and continue to make, make money on it. Whatever it is you're gonna do, and it doesn't matter whether you're, you're doing art or trying to teach somebody how to do better on the internet, you need to have a good time. You need to be having a good time because people see that right away. If you're not enjoying yourself, I've been turning for 25 years and I'm gonna get home on Friday and I'm gonna go turn something. I'm doing what I love for a living. I, why wouldn't I have a giant smile on my face, you know? So that, and it comes across in the video. Whatever it is you wanna teach, people wanna learn stuff and you can go over the, the matrix and, the, and the, all of the algorithms and everything else. But what it comes down to is you need to make content people want to watch. And, and that's really all it is. You could be doing anything, whatever it is you're doing. If you can make it fun and something people want to watch, you're going to be successful at it. It's just... You know, I mean, there are different ways to, of the, you know, different social medias and stuff, ways to get, get your name out there and things. I do a lot of collabs with people. If they're doing stuff you enjoy and, and want to do with it, I always say yes. It's, you just never know how it's going to work out or, or how cool it is. Um, it's just, just super fun stuff. We're constantly trying to come up with, with ideas for projects. So how we make our living off of YouTube. So we average, it's about $50 a video is what we get right off the bat. And then they die down and they continue to, to get, you know, earn money. Some of them will take off and they will do very well. The sponsorship is our main source of income. We have six companies that sponsor the show. We also do uh, affiliate programs too. And so that was another thing. It like, sounds like everybody else is doing, this, doing it too. So I have a list of all of my favorite tools that I use in the, in the shop. I put them in and do an Amazon store. Um, and we, we make an, a little bit of income off of that. And also what I do, and I was talking, talking to somebody earlier, is whenever I need to buy something, and we buy, I don't know, five, six things off of, off of Amazon a month or whatever. I have a list of people that I are in my woodworking, wood turning community, and they all have affiliate programs. And I go through their link. It's a win-win for everybody. You're not paying any more and everybody's getting, getting a little, little extra spending cash. And as far as like affiliate programs, it's as far as Amazon, there's a lot of other affiliate programs. And I'm not sure what, you know, everybody's into stuff a little bit different, but as far as tool companies, there's a lot of tool companies out there that have their own affiliate programs that pay a lot more than Amazon. Um, I have three of them and they all pay 20%. But look around at, at the products you use and it, you might be able to go directly through the company. And that way, I, on our website, we have the links on our website. We have the links in the YouTube videos to those affiliate programs. So it's, you know, I'm not sure what it is, but I would, I would definitely look around at all the companies where you use products and maybe even contact them. Some of them will even, um, if you contact them and they want to do a sponsored video, they will give you an affiliate link. So, it, and it's going to pay a lot more than what Amazon does. As far as sponsorship, I've only gone to one company and the rest of them have come to me. Once you start building up an audience and they see that interaction, because companies are not just looking at how many subscribers you have or how many views you have, they're also looking at your comments. They're looking at those comments in, the comp in your videos. They have people that are doing that. They are not just randomly throwing, you know, throwing money out there to you. They are watching to see how you interact with your audience and how the audience interacts with you. They want to know that they're sponsoring somebody that they can put their name behind. So if you're making videos and not, not responding to anybody, or if your videos aren't, um, you know, appropriate for, for that, you know, for their audience, um, if you're not doing the content on a regular basis, they, they're watching all of that. If you're not putting content up regularly, it will die. It will all start to fall off if you don't, don't continue to, 
to put up content with it. Another thing is about uh, just putting up new content and continuing to do stuff is you always want to be moving forward. Before I got into this, I know nothing about social media. I was on YouTube putting up cat, watching cat videos, play with yarn, just like everybody else. My first video just kind of as a fluke and I wasn't, I didn't really even know what I was doing, but it actually just built a community on there. And that is why I keep going. I love doing this. I love interacting with, with people. I have friends all over the world now, you know, that I never even would have met or anything. But you can't just keep doing the same thing over and over again. You have to, we're constantly coming up with different project ideas. We, about a year ago, we were doing some demos down in California and we, we had talked about uh, doing a mobile shop somewhere where we could take it out and show people. So it's been just over a year ago. We, and it's just another way to, you know, connect with your audience. It's really been a lot of fun. And so we travel around doing that. And it's just another way to, to you know, keep the content you know, new and fresh and, and connect with people. We do, I do um, run ads mm -hmm. on Pinterest um, every month with budget and, you know, we try and try and do that. I've run some, some Facebook ads. I don't, haven't done any, any YouTube ads, but if there's no reason why you shouldn't do that. If, um, if you were just a brick and mortar store, coffee shop or whatever, you would run ads. And you would run ads, you know, on TV or, or whatever, local papers. This is no different. This is a business. It's, don't think it's not a business. Um, it is, we try and have as much fun as we can, but we have a mortgage and we have car payments and camper payments. Yeah. So it, it is business. And if we don't continually work at it, you and continually promote it, it like I said, it will go away like like her cake at Green right. Channel. Did you guys know the Artisan Summit tickets right now are on sale? The prices are going up soon. Check out artisansummit.com to capture your ticket, reserve your seat, and we'll see you at this year's Artisan Summit 2020. Hurry up! Stoke up kind of time.